All right, everyone. The problem says a gas at 772 millimeters of mercury and 35.0 degrees Celsius occupies a volume of 6.85 liters. Calculate its volume at STP. Okay, let's write down what the problem gives us. So we have 772 millimeters of mercury. That is a pressure. 772 mmHg. We have 35.0 degrees Celsius. That is a temperature. 35.0 degrees C. And a volume of 6.85 liters. So we have a volume 6.85 liters. The question is asking for the volume, so we need to solve for a different volume, at STP, and STP stands for Standard Temperature and Pressure. So that's giving us another temperature and another pressure, standard meaning for temperature, zero degrees Celsius which is 273 Kelvin, and standard pressure would be one atmosphere, or for this problem, that is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. So that's everything the problem gave us. How we're gonna solve this problem is using the combined gas law which is P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. So since we have two sets here, up top we have, let's say, P1, T1, V1, and then the other set down here we'll call V2, T2, P2. So we can manipulate our combined gas law to solve for V2, which is what we're looking for. So to do that, we are going to, on both sides, multiply by T2 over P2. And we're doing that so that P2 cancels over here, and so does T2, which leaves us with only V2, which is again what we're solving for. So let's write this equation again. We're going to have T2P1V1 over P2T1 equals V2. So now we can plug in our values into our equation and then solve. So for T2, we are going to take 273 Kelvin. Okay, multiply that by P1, which is 772 millimeters of mercury, mmHg, times a V1, which is up here, 6.85 liters. Okay, and that is all over P2, which is 760 millimeters of mercury and we're using that unit because that is the pressure unit we were given in our question, MMHG. So that times T1, which is 35.0 degrees Celsius. Now when doing the gas laws or a gas law problem, we need to have all of our temperatures in Kelvin. So we're gonna have to add 273 to get 308 Kelvin. That's how we convert from Celsius to Kelvin, is we add 273. So 308 Kelvin here on the bottom. And that is again equal to V2. So before we do our math, let's look at our units and make sure everything cancels. So on top we have Kelvin, on bottom we have Kelvin. We have millimeters of mercury on top, and millimeters of mercury on the bottom, and that leaves us with just liters, which makes sense. We're solving for volume, so we should have units for volume left, which is what liters are. 
So now we can plug this into our calculator to solve. Okay, so we are going to start with 273. We are going to multiply that by 772. We are going to multiply by 6.85. Hit divide, and then we're gonna open parentheses to make sure our order of operations stays as it needs to be. We'll do 760. We will multiply that by 308, and we will close parentheses. Hit equals, and our calculator says 6.1674 with a couple more digits in there. But we're gonna round this to, let's say three significant figures. So we will get a final answer of 6.17 liters. Okay, there you have it, a gas at 772 millimeters of mercury and 35 degrees Celsius occupies 6.85 liters. What would its volume be at standard temperature and pressure? That volume would be 6.17 liters. All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos, and thank you, thank you so much for watching.